Welcome back everyone. It's Garland here bringing you another Neverwinter video. In today's video topic we are going to be continuing our locks box guides. Today we're going to be looking at the new opportunities lock box. So on your screen now you can see the top tier rewards as well as the mid rewards as well as the bottom rewards. Now keep in mind this is uh, keeping in line with the new lockbox mechanics. So if we go ahead and look at the new lockbox, of course we have a new legendary mount as well as epic counterpart and it is the legendary adolescent deep crow as well as the adolescent deep crow. So if we go ahead and look at this, uh, you harness the power of the deep crow releasing a shriek as you strengthen in battle. For 10 seconds you gain 7.5% power your Shriek stuns enemies around you and grants combat advantage against them for 4 seconds. Now in PvP, the only stuns last for 2 seconds. And this also has 4,000 armor penetration on this. Now, a lot of niche builds and classes are using this for the 7.5% power. Uh, I myself am not. However, if this is something that uh, you are looking to get or need... Um, then that's completely up to you in the build or the statistics that you're running. Of course, it does have that equipped power of armor penetration. If you are still lacking armor penetration at this point, that is completely up to you. Now, me personally, I don't like this mount skin at all. Uh, I don't have it, nor will I probably go for it. But again, that is opinionated. Uh, so if you do like this mount, then this is the legendary version. Again, we do have the epic version as well. So if we take a look at that, it's 2,000 armor penetration. And then again, it is a deep crow uh, graphic or skin for that matter. Moving right along, we do have a companion. Now this companion is considered best in slot for some. Uh, as it does have 1500 power on it for the active bonus, which is a lot of raw statistical power coming from a companion. So your uh, DCs uh, and power share paladins uh, will be looking at this as it is 1500 power. Nothing else really to note about it. It is an augment companion. It's uh, triple offensive slots, but again, it is an augment companion. So uh, you're mainly looking at the active bonus of that 1500 power like i said the power share classes uh yeah that's a plus material there moving along again now we have the demo belts uh we have the epic version as well as the blue version moving down the line here we do have the epic insignia pack as well as some companion upgrade tokens cubes of augmentation a random rank 8 runestone we have the Jadeite, and then finally from those Tier 1 rewards, we have the Trade Bar Jackpot. Now moving on to the Refinement Awards, of course we do have the Ultimate Enchanting Stone as at the top, followed by the Brilliant Diamond. Uh, in this lockbox in particular, we're going to have the Vorpal Enchantment as well as the Soul Forge. We also have Ultimate Marks of Potency, Superior Marks of Potency, and Superior Enchanting Stones. Followed by Preservation Wards. I believe you get five of these. Followed by the Alexandria, the Blood Ruby, the Greater Enchanting Pack, which always rewards one Jadeite and five Greater Enchanting Stones. The Greater Mark of Potency. And finally, a Random Rank 8 Enchantment. So that's going to cover the middle section. And then finally, we do have the third tier rewards, which is the utility rewards. Uh, you do have a chance of getting a legendary tool, a greater stone of health, the epic professions supplement, which I believe will reward you only one of the following. So you have the calm, the haste, the focus, or the training manual in this. And then we have the rare supplement pack which again, you only get one Calm, Haste, Focus, or Training Manual, except this is the Rare, not the Epic. And then we also have the Green version, which is going to be, again, you only get one of these, the Calm, the Haste, the Focus, or the Training Manual at Uncommon level. F finally, uh, towards the bottom here, you can actually get Green Stronghold Vouchers. So I don't even know why this is in this lockbox. If you can't give us blue vouchers at this point of the game, uh, I don't even know why there's green vouchers in here, to be completely honest. Uh, that's a little awkward. 
uh, to me personally, but hey, uh, it's just a filler item as a low tier reward, if anything. And then finally, at the very bottom, we do have Black Opals. So a lot of this box is set up like previous boxes in the new mechanics. Uh, if this is something that you're interested in, especially if you're still trying to get a Deep Crow Hatchling, or if you are interested in the uh, Adolescent Deep Crow, uh, of course we are on Xbox. We can look at some of these prices uh, just to see where the market is currently. Uh, filming this video, it is... February 25th of 2019 uh, so if we look at the epic versions are going for about 100, 140 to 150k and then if we move right over to the legendaries again it's not a super popular mount but it does have its place in some certain niche builds uh, and they're currently for the legendary going for about 3.8 million uh, upwards to 4 million and increasing from there again as of filming this video and depending on when you watch this video prices can always fluctuate and it also depends on your platform again we are filming this on xbox currently and these are the current prices now like i said more demanding is going to be that deep crow commit uh deep crow companion uh and if we look at that uh even now that this lockbox uh, has been around for a while. Uh, you can still pick up this companion fairly cheap for the most part. 170k round in and then continually going up in price from there. So that is going to wrap up this video. Taking a look at the new opportunities lockbox. Which then we will add this lockbox video into the lockbox guides playlist. Uh, if you ever see a lockbox that is missing out of that playlist please be sure to let me know and i will try to cover it there are a lot of the older uh original og lockboxes that i never did uh actual guides on if you guys would like to see those uh be sure to leave me a comment below and i'll try to get a hold of some of them and we can add them that way we have a complete library of the lockbox uh guides so that is going to end the video just a nice little quick one today guys Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you have any questions regarding this lockbox, or any lockbox for that matter, go ahead and leave me a comment below. If you're new to the channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button for all that premium, spicy, neverwinter content. Uh, if you want to rate the video, be my guest. You want to leave me a thumbs up, go for it. You want to leave me a thumbs down, hey, whatever floats your boat. That's going to wrap it up for the video, guys. We will see you in the next one.